my dad was born in Newfoundland. He was the eldest son in the family and he came to Halifax in 1940 and he immediately was assigned onto a ship and he made seven uh, Atlantic crossings. He saw a lot of ships blown up. They would have to go silently, no radio contact, and all of a sudden a torpedo would hit a ship. And they were not allowed to stop. He would speak sort of quietly about the men that would be in the water and not being able to help them. There's lots of things people never knew about the war. They didn't know how serious things were. When the war was over first, they didn't want to talk about it. It was too sad. It was too, I don't know what he meant by it, but he said we just couldn't open up. It took us years to really tell the stories. He was very interested in serving, serving Canada. And so when you think of someone unselfishly serving and giving their lives for a country to be free, then you know that it's, it is our duty to remember those people. From the first time I met Norman, I thought he was such a gentleman and he was such a, a caring person. Last Christmas, he wasn't feeling well, but he wanted to give, buy me a watch. And I said, oh, don't worry about it. I'll get one sometime. He passed away, but in an envelope, he had money so I could buy my watch. He was just so kind and thoughtful. I miss him so, so much. <laughs>